Here is the corroded metal painting tutorial I'd promised you guys a while ago, but didn't get around to doing because of schoolwork, work work, things like that. First of all, this is what it should look like when you're all through. Uh, what we're going for is a speckled, dark brown, dark red kind of a look. Um, you just want things to look kind of speckledy, dirty, um, non-uniform. Uh, you do want your base metal color showing through still, so that things aren't just solid brown, red, that kind of a thing. Uh, but first, I'm going to run you through what we're going to need to do that. Uh, you're going to need a brush, a dry brush, or some other old brush would work well. Uh, if you have a stippling brush, that'd be good, because that's what we're going to be doing. Just making a bunch of stabbing kind of motions to get a bunch of little speckly dots. Uh, if you have, though, um, some foam, or a uh, sponge maybe, uh, some foam from blister pack, something like that, uh, foam would also work very well, and probably a lot faster than a brush, because it's bigger area, so you can cover a lot more in a speckly, non-uniform kind of a pattern um, a lot quicker than with a brush. Uh, and what I'm going to be painting is some cardboard. Uh, this is just some plain, ordinary, corrugated cardboard. Uh, it works good for corrugated metal, uh, especially this does, after you remove the flat layer on the top and reveal the lumpy bumpiness. I've already gone ahead and primed these black. So prime uh, whatever you're going to be painting black and you will also need the following colors. Uh, bolt gun metal. Uh, this is going to be our base metal color. You're also going to need dark flesh this is a reddish brown color and I like that more than just a solid brown because it has more of a rusty kind of a look to it and also finally red gore which is a darker red and I like that more than blood red which I had also tried because it's not quite so bright the blood red is just too bright. It just doesn't feel right for a rusty look. So let's go on ahead and I will show you how to get these painted up. Alright, first we will apply our metal color, which in my case is bolt gun metal. You're just looking for a nice, even, solid coverage with your metal. Alright, so what you're looking for is just a nice even coat of your metallic color. First, I'm going to paint the dark flesh. I like to paint the red last. That's just a personal preference. Uh, you can paint it really whatever order you want. What you want to do is to get just, just a little bit on your brush. And try to, you know, just kind of get a lot of it off. You don't want, you know, a whole lot on your brush. Like you would for dry brushing. Just try to get a bunch of it off. So that you should, when you make your stippling motion, you just want like that. Just some little speckles, really. Once you get your brush to, you know, make a bunch of little speckles like that, rather than putting down a whole glob of paint, uh, then you know that you're ready to start stippling on your metal. And we're just going to stipple all of it. Just the whole thing. 
just start making your stippling, stabbing motions. And if you need more paint, then get more paint. And you probably will need to get some more paint after a little bit. Like, right now I haven't gone very far, and I already need to get some more paint. So just try to get just, just a little bit, and try to just kind of get it all coated on the tips of the bristles, but mostly off and start stippling and there's no real good way of doing this just kinda make a bunch of little speckles um, and if you have some foam here I do um, just get some on your brush get some paint on your brush and paint onto the foam and it should stick to all the raised surfaces pretty good. And when you use the foam on the cardboard, what you should get is that. You should get some speckles. Just do that. And you should get a bunch of speckles. I do prefer the foam over the brush because the speckles are larger and more pronounced. With the paintbrush, uh, it tends to make smaller speckles and in some cases um, around here it almost, you know, you can't really tell where they are because they're, they're so fine and, and so close together. I do prefer the foam method. So if you have foam, and I do, uh, use that. Uh, the foam does not tend to work well on a textured surface. Um, so for this here, as you can see, I can't get it between there. I cannot get foam in there unless I cut this to size, but that's just a hassle and I'm lazy. So, for your corrugated or otherwise textured surfaces, you will have to use a brush. And it looks nice too, I just prefer the foam method. What I really like to do is, instead of wiping off most of my paint on, you know, some cardboard, paper towel, newspaper, whatever, uh, wipe it off on your foam, use your foam to you know, texture something, and then quickly, before the paint dries off of your brush, go on and stipple whatever you have that's textured and requires a brush. So that way, you don't waste much paint. Get your brown, reddish brown color all done, 